Hey, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat, and welcome to our second episode of the Wombcast. Dude, our last episode was really well received, at least for us, man. So if you guys enjoyed that last episode, throw something down in the comments and let us know because it makes us feel better about ourselves. You know, uh, I think recently it's been kind of interesting um, to see, like, our goal is to kind of do some different things and try some different things. And this has been a huge goal of mine for a while, to do something of this sort. I really enjoy talking and yapping, as many of you guys might know. So, <laughs> I don't I, I just think it's, uh, I'm just glad you guys enjoyed it. So, appreciate that, appreciate, appreciate that. If you guys want to know how things work around here... We've got uh, this portion here where I talk my sheet. It's kind of different setup. We're going to see how we like doing this and, and how it looks and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I talk my sheet for a little bit and then we get into our RP recap or our RP interview. As you know, I'll be, do, be doing GTA roleplay quite a bit as of recent. You know, I mean, really for a while now. I'm, I've been locked in for a while now. So we, we kind of focus around that. And... Uh, yeah, man. So I'm 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 excited to see where this podcast goes. I'm excited to see where we end up and how we end up doing things or what you guys end up doing. Um, I, I was kind of thinking about opening up some kind of like something in the Discord for you guys to ask questions and stuff. If that's if that's something you that would interest you guys, or if you would like to uh, have some kind of way of interacting with this uh, with, with this podcast, please, please, please. Let me know and put that in the comments down below. Uh, this week's been good for me, man. We uh, we just now posted the other podcast, which is kind of funny. I'm not like recording them right up back to back, but we posted it. And so it's kind of like fresh for me, this whole idea. But this week was amazing. Uh, the highlight of my week this week was actually nothing involving the stream. My highlight of this of my week this week was going to my brother's short film premiere. And uh, my brother, if you don't know, is, is wants to be a director of like feature films and that's his goal and he's working his ass off towards that goal he he works for a production company right now that uh just put a, put together a big budget for one of his ideas for a short film for like a 22 minute short film and if you guys don't know that's like actually quite long and it's actually a pretty difficult thing to do and so he he put this thing together i actually didn't watch any of it until the actual day of the premiere and I'm just sitting there, man. And I was like, my brother and I are really close. I'm just sitting there like, man, it was so cool to see his creation come to life and, and so many different people helping out with it. And I'm telling you right now, it's something that you would definitely watch on like Netflix or Apple TV or any of that kind of sheet, man. And my brother is on the way and it was just like so cool to sit back and just be able to watch that happen for him and celebrate that and uh, I wouldn't be a creative though if it didn't really inspire me you know and I, I don't know part of what I do is is tell stories and that's kind of what I do and it sounds stupid because I play a video game that I fake I, I have a fake life in and a lot of people probably don't understand it but how I view it is similar to that of writing like a show or writing a, a movie or things like that. Not that I've ever done that before, but I, I view it in that way. We're just kind of doing it on the spot, but I want people to be so connected to it and so connected to the storyline that they want to see what happens next. And um, I don't know, it just like seeing him create that inspired me so much just be like, man, I want to tell better stories or what do I want to do in the future? Like, do I want to continue with, you know, just telling stories through a video game? Do I want to do that in another facet? Um, but I know that this is like, this is the way for me, you know, like this is definitely the spot for me uh, in terms of like doing something that tells stories to hopefully not necessarily inspire people like motivationally, but just, just like, Allow them to escape, you know? I think that's such a powerful thing to create something that other people can escape in is so, like, mind-boggling to me and just so mind-blowing, mind, like, it, mind -blowing, I guess, what it would be. But yeah, it, the fact that I can do that just pumps me up. And sometimes I hit that mark. Most times I miss it. 
but uh, I just that's what I love about what I do. And that's what I, well, that's what I love about the RP side of what I do. The other part is just directly connecting with people is just pumps me up, you know, but I don't know. I, I, I would be lying if I said, I, I don't, I want to, I want to get in on that action that my brother's doing, you know, like I want, I want to help him create those things and I want to, I want to be there with him when he's doing it. Uh, but I also want him to live his own world. And I don't want to uh, impede, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which I don't think he'd ever view it that way, but I don't know. I just love this idea, dude, that, that we get to create something. My brother and I get to create something that makes people escape for just a moment. Because I will tell you this, I'm very critical of a lot of things, like what I went to for this premiere, but I go... And for those 22 minutes, I was, I, I escaped reality, you know, I actually escaped reality and it's the same feeling that I really hope people have when they watch something like when we're really cooking a storyline, I just really hope people have that feeling. Um, and they can escape the shitty world sometimes that we live in. And sometimes it's just like, man, I've got X, Y, and Z going on. And I, I, yeah, I don't know. That's something that pumps me up. Not in like a really cheesy motivational way. You can do anything in your life or something. But I want people to feel like uh, when they watch my stuff, they can escape from uh, the rest of their sheet, get pumped up, get back out there and kick ass, you know? And uh, yeah, I don't know. It just really fired me up, man. It just really fired me up. His, uh, his short film is called Tenancy. Tenancy, like, uh, like you're a tenant. Uh, and the premise is, what if you could rent like your body for somebody else to use. Like your, their consciousness could come into their body to your body and they could use your body for X amount of time. And then you would be paid for them doing that. Very, very cool idea. And, uh, I'll let you guys see it when it comes out. I'll probably show it on stream when it like actually like they post it and stuff, but they're going to try to get into some short film, like I don't know, competition, not really competitions, but short film, like, Festivals, I guess would be. And I think it, it is literally that caliber. So big ups to my brother. Uh, congratulations, Tony. I love you if you watch this. And uh, you pump me up to keep going all the freaking time, man. And I feel so lucky to be your brother. So I love you. Uh, so I did that this week. And uh, that was huge. That kind of like was my biggest highlight, I would say, of the week. I wrote something else down. Hold on one second. Uh and what's kind of crazy is, uh, at that, I will say one thing that kind of like messed me up when I was there was this, uh, they had this like poster where it has a bunch of dots and it marks the weeks of your life all the way up to like age 100 and you kind of color them in and go to a certain amount. And I was just looking at this dude. I'm like, bro, I don't have the time to communicate the things that I want to communicate to the world. Like, I don't have the freaking time, bro. I'm looking at this sheet. I'm like, bro, I'm like over one thirds through the way on this little sheet. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. It's like little dots and you like color in the dots and it marks his ages, right? And I'm like at 30 now and I'm like, bro, I do not have time to be fooking around. We got to be working all times, all around the clock and that kind of stuff. And recently I got sick. <laughs> Like just like a, like a throat, like my throat was hurting and all that kind of stuff. And I, dude, I had to miss a stream that I, I haven't had to do that for being sick for a long time. I haven't, I haven't really missed a stream that I didn't like schedule out in a long time. And I, dude, I, oh my God, it is so stressful to do that. I just want you guys to know that. And it might be the same way for like, if you guys own a business or maybe the job you're in or whatever. But it is so stressful missing a day. The whole time I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I can't really talk. I can't really do much. And I just want to freaking do my job and do what I love. You know what I mean? And uh, the whole time as a streamer, you're thinking every day that I miss, everything's going down. Right? So if you if I'm not there, it's going down. And uh, if I am there, hopefully it goes up, but sometimes it doesn't. And, and it's just this like mind game of like, I know when I come back, you know, tomorrow, because I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, it's like Saturday right now, and it's going to be Sunday tomorrow. 
And I know when I come back, everything's going to be like lower than it was in terms of like all the number shit and everything like that. But I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's a hard mental thing to get over as a streamer. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we just get back to the, get back on the ground running and Sunday I just go boom and I'm bringing some good sheet to the table. But I, I just, you know, sometimes it slows you down a little bit, taking a day off or, or whatever. But I, I don't know. It probably sounds so stupid talking about this. But it's a legitimate thing. If any other streamers are out there, you guys understand the vibes of that, you know? The vibes of just like you miss some time and you feel like your whole world is grumbling and it's just a very stressful thing. And the truth is it's not, you know? Uh, if people want to watch me, they'll watch me. And if they don't want to watch me, they're not going to watch me. The, the life cycle of a viewer. And I've got to realize that um, if I keep cooking, then maybe uh, some of the peeps will keep cooking with me. And if I'm not cooking, then they'll probably just find another stream, you know, and that's fine as well. <laughs> can't, you can't win them all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but what, which is why it excites me doing like podcasts and some different stuff. Because this stuff exists even if I'm not, like, live, you know? And I think you guys can experience this and uh, still get, you know, the vibes of what I'm doing. But also, it's a different avenue to create. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. But the last, last podcast was really good, man. I really enjoyed hanging out with Sonny, a.k.a. Texas Reverend, and talking in that way. And, and that's, that's going to be something. He's going to be a, re a repeat person, you know? Because eventually, my, my vision is really, like, We'll be recapping storylines and stuff like that uh, with similar people. You know, right now I'm going to be running through and, and, and interviewing a bunch of different people, going through a whole bunch of different uh, things, but eventually it'll probably land in a space kind of where we're just dissecting things that we've done or funny things that we've seen other people do, whatever it is. Uh, and yeah, I, I think he's just such a great person for that, you know? So Texas Reverend, big shout to you. Today, though... We've got a really good stream planned for our stream. Oh my God. We've got a really good podcast planned for you. And that is an interview with the one, the only Clarence, you know, you guys remember Clarence, that one guy that, you know, I pushed off of a mountain that one time, but we're going to talk about the whole entire storyline of Clarence kind of break down some of the different things that happened. Maybe things that I did well, maybe things that he hated that I did. I don't really know when I'm recording this. I haven't talked to him yet. But we're going to break all that stuff down for you guys. And I hope you do really, really enjoy it. And we might even find out what hap what happened to Clarence. Is he perma Is he not perma I don't know if he's going to share that in this, but I know that's a big question for people. So uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you so much for being here. We will uh, we'll try to be back here every single Saturday, dude. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like it. Throw down a comment below of something you liked in this whole thing or something you didn't like, whatever it is. Uh, it means the world to me if you guys are interacting with the stuff that we're putting out. So I appreciate you. We'll see you guys in the next um, podcast and in this next segment. Okay. I'm here with uh, Clarence, um, a.k.a. Chris McDonald, um, a.k.a. probably a lot of other characters as well. But we actually have a really good history of RPing together. We've like we actually do. That's we've done crazy to think about. quite a bit of stuff together, which a lot of people won't know about now. Um, who've like found the channel recently, but uh, we started off on PMA together, right? Yeah, like a long time ago, maybe like two years ago around there. Eh? What was the what was the first character we met on? Oh, see. Oh, uh, dude, you're going to get a lot of, like, lore unlock here, honestly. Because, uh, so, before I played Chris, right? Yeah. Um, I was just, like, an average... So, before I even, like, thought of Chris McDonald as a character, I used to be, like, an average Joe kind of, like, RPer, Just, like, grinding and, like, just... just I was just a grinder back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. And I remember... I, I, w I would pull up your stream sometimes, and this is when, like... Holy, this was like really early PMA days, I'm pretty sure. Um, I remember you guys were doing oh, what was it again? You guys you guys reference it sometimes. Uh, the broke boy shit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I'm pretty sure you guys remember this actually. Uh do you remember when you guys would take up the North Beach garage? Yeah. 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 And, and there was the the, the Sendakos that ran that was there. Yeah. So I, I was in that gang, by the way. 
Um, they were the Are first. You really? That's yes, so funny. I, I was in that gang. Um, I, I met I met them. I just like met, I met one of their buddies, and then it just like evolved into me joining them, right? Because um, yeah. I wasn't really playing a character yet. I was kind of just like basically playing myself. And um, this is when I was really new to Five M. Like, what really got me into like doing role play was I was editing. Uh, I was editing these GTA videos for the streamer Saikuno, right? I was one of the ones who was editing a lot of the GTA like for videos. the Saikuno or like yeah, like, like Saikuno, yeah. Yo, that's crazy! I didn't know that. Yeah, I actually that's got a actually big insane. portfolio. I actually got a big portfolio. Um, Damn. And so I was like watching like him doing no pixel shit. This is when like no pixel was like peaking, like absolute peaking at this yeah, point because yeah. of the pandemic and everything, right? And so I was like, oh, this looks fun. So then I got into it. I I think I, I joined PMA. Because uh, the first server I played in was called Lucid City, and that server was really shit. I think I've heard <laughs> like, of that. I think I've heard that, of it. Yeah, it, it was it was really cursed. Um, I don't know. It's just the biggest issue with a lot of public servers is if when they don't have an age limit, like they don't have eighteen plus. Dude, so, it's like, weird. This, it's it like, is weird. That it's is so, so. I hate so when weird. servers because like you'll get pulled over by like a like a like thirteen year old kid <laughs> like, or something like, some like that. Kid, hey, yeah. sir, you're gonna have to pull it over, or else we're gonna have to put you in cuff. And it's just like. But not even that, like RP can get weird sometimes, you oh, know, yeah, okay. and it's like, bro, I, I don't want to be, you know, in these weird scenes and all of a sudden the kid rolls up or something like that. Or that's what or I like, mean. Some of these people like, doing weird uh, shit, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, yeah, kids get exposed, to that kind of stuff. Because, it's just weird. Well, because they'll do like, they'll be like, you know, the, the VU and stuff. And I remember <laughs> in Lucid, <laughs> Lucid City, I, I went there with a buddy that I still am really close with. Uh, we went to like the strip club to like go fuck around and like you know those girls doing their stripper RP and stuff and then there, there's just like 13 and 14 year old kids and they're like talking. Jesus Christ, man! They're yeah, trying to hide their screen from their parents and stuff. Yeah, and so <laughs> when I was in the gangs and dockers when I met them and stuff when you when you guys were beefing with them, I <laughs> I <laughs> I remember. We were chasing you guys, and I'm pretty sure Doc was in this vehicle with one of you Doc guys. Doc used to be a shitter, so I'm excited to hear about this, but... Yeah, and so, <laughs> uh, like, we were chasing you guys, and they're like, oh, yeah, these are the broke boys. They're, like, you know, going nuts on radio. Yeah. And, uh, and like, I think I was behind one of you guys. Like, I was, just, like, behind... I was the one that was Oh, because we were kind of, like, being, like, like not, like, a little bit, like, discreet about it, right? Like, yeah, we were just saying yeah. it's Broke Boy Beach, and then, like, yeah, you guys were like, we who were, the fuck's the Broke Boys? And, like, we were yeah. chasing you near Weasel News, and then I remember I, like, I was saying on radio, I'm like, I'm, like, right behind them. They're just like, just ram them, just ram them. And I remember <laughs> I rammed you guys so fucking bad, and you guys died because of it. Wait, we died because of the ram? Yeah, I rammed you guys. No, you guys like hit the wall, and you guys just car flipped, and then ev- everyone just else up. just started. Yeah, they all. Just- yeah. yeah. <laughs> and after wow. we drove off, I was just like, "That was kind of fucked up." I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Yeah, I've been mad about it this whole time. Actually, I knew this, and now I want to talk to you about it. No, I'm just that's <laughs> so freaking funny, dude. That was. Uh, it, it's kind of funny because probably the, the first interaction we had before. Chris. Well, yeah, because like not a lot of people had interactions with Nick Ender that early on, who I still kind of RP with, other than like Jack or Doc. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is kind of it's which is cool. I think it's really cool. But, a lot of people will talk about like Rick Marshall or something like that from back then. Oh yeah. Um, I, remember, I remember I would see uh, your stream on the side for the recommended. It'll be Rick Marshall. Sometime yeah, yeah, just it. like. It, that's mainly what like people will remember, but it's, that's just really funny. I I didn't. I feel like maybe I did know that, but it just kind of got lost somewhere. But that's yeah. Or, or I thought it was somebody um, else who was in that. But, <laughs> but um, so uh, to continue on with that, uh, it was like really, it was like an epiphany moment for me when I realized like, uh, like the group that I was like RPing with, right, the Sindakos, you know that. You know, people always like try to save face, like, oh yeah, no, we're, we RP, right? And wh- even though it's just like they they just don't like losing and shit, right? But um, yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember the the one the one moment that like kind of killed, like it just like I don't know, it just made me realize, right? Like we we were we were boof- we were beefing with I think like the Vagos of that server of PMA, and I remember they did something really cool, like they did a really cool thing, they. They interacted with us. They like they like saw us, right? 
they, they actually talked with us and then they set up a really cool car chase. They didn't even, they weren't like, you know, ramming us and killing us instantly. Like how it would, you know, yeah, play yeah, on yeah. that server. Right. They, they chased us for like five minutes and then finally started shooting at us like full on. And like, That's badass. Uh, I like that. Yeah, it was really badass. And like one of them like said something really cool because uh they, they like made a they made a they made a joke about the Godfather shit or something like that. And it was yeah. really cool. I was just like, damn, that was like badass, right? <laughs> and I remember and like what everyone would do in like PMA, they they go on a Discord call after they'd get shot up. And like in everyone was in a Discord call, right? And I go in there and I have like one in buddy. the server in a Discord call or what? Yeah. Like, yeah, they would be in a server in the Discord call, like, all the See, time. See, that's like, crazy to me, because, like, my experience with RP was so different than that, like, really? because I was always live, right? Like, I can't, yeah. like, I never even thought about doing that for, like, the whole time I was, like, RPing my characters out. I heard about that recently, where, like, it was like, oh, yeah, we just jump into a Discord call right after, fuck. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, oh, dude, he, he, you have no idea how many people do that. It's actually crazy. But um, make, I guess it makes sense because you're like alone yeah. RP yeah. yeah. Um, and so after we hop into a call, like, and I have one buddy, like, I still talk to him to this day. I think he does like red him now. But I remember, <laughs> I, I like joined the call. I'm just like, man, that was kind of badass. Like, what just happened to us there? And he's just like, what do you mean we <laughs> lost? And I'm just like, and I read. <laughs> And I just realized I'm like, oh no! Oh wait, you guys don't get it. That's yeah, that's yeah, the issue. That that's when I realized, like, bro. And so then that's when I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna. I I made a new character, and uh, and it was Chris McDonald. And originally, the the story behind Chris McDonald, why I made him, um, one of my buddies that lives in my town. You know, we would just like hang out and stuff, right? And um. <laughs> We, we we would watch this uh, YouTuber. You know who he is, probably. His name's uh, Airsoft Fatty. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And like, we would watch his videos all the time because he's he's a, he's a humble, gen, genuine like guy, right? <laughs> and um, and like some of his mannerisms he had was just funny. And taking also taking inspiration from like South Park, like Cartman. I see that. And, yeah, yeah, for sure. Mostly Cartman, and. <laughs> kind of big smoke in a way in a little bit like yeah with the whole gang stuff like it's like all it all folded into chris mcdonald right and originally chris mcdonald was like a satire character because in pma i would just be like like oh yeah i'm a gang member and shit right <laughs> and just like and like tag up turf and then like just get shot down instantly every single time no matter what yeah yeah and i and i would always like you know make jokes that like you know how people would like you know how people would act in servers when they're in a gang like you know egos and shit you know shooters and stuff and you know that was really the inspiration behind chris mcdonald then like i think well that's the first wish. character we really rp'd on right yeah that was like the first character we both actually interacted with a lot because i was i was playing bernie where bernie like it was this character that i created his name was bernie barter and the whole idea was uh like not like necessarily a one-lifer but it was kind of like a day character um was the goal originally and it's just going to be that I barter when I go in, right? So, like, I start yeah. with, like, you know, whatever you get in the server was, like, a sandwich or something like that and something. I start with that. I barter that all the way up to whatever, you know? And I think I got a car. And then I, it was kind of, like, a fun idea to make this, like, nerdy. It was, like, this really nerdy character yeah. that I could make, like, try to fall in love. And I thought that was a kind of cool, like, thing, idea to play with. And maybe if I could yeah. make people feel, have, like, a, you know, kind of feel for the character a little bit. I thought that'd be mm. a fun thing to mess with and a cool thing to see if I could accomplish. But then I meet Chris and um, well, the thing is like, we're talking about a lot about Chris and a lot of people like know you as Clarence, but I knew yeah. you as yeah, Chris yeah. before, you know? And so like yeah. um, when I saw like Chris McDonald pop up after like all the Clarence stuff, I was like, Oh my God, dude, people are like in store for some good shit. <laughs> Cause I don't, oh, at least with Bernie, it was like so much fun to yeah. interact. Yeah, like, so originally I thought Bernie, like, your character Bernie, I thought he was, like, one of those characters that would just, like, he would just do anything that you that you would, like, suggest him to do. Like, remember I would, uh, I would like, yeah. make Bernie smoke meth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I it thought, kind of was that, yeah. Kinda yeah, was that. It, so, like, that's why I kept on, I was going, like, hardcore with making, like, Bernie smoke meth, but, um, <laughs> I can't remember how we first met, though. Like, I, I could have just came across you, because... Before I started like interacting with your character Bernie, 
I had this other guy with me, um, and you probably know, you probably seen like photos of him, like when we would do like our obese gang stuff, like on Twitter at the time. Yeah, uh, it was uh, Fatman. John. I remember Fatman. that. I remember you saying something about him back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, and so me and him, we were like a duo. We always did shit as like obese gang and stuff. And um, you know, with time, like he got busy and stuff too, right? And so it was sometimes it'd just be like me as Chris alone most of the time. Yeah. But um. I can't remember how we first met. Like I could have just like I don't remember either, but I don't I don't remember. There's one clip that I really remember and that's the one where like we were running away from the cops. I was trying to like RP out not being able to drive good even though I was playing Nick Ender a lot and I was like getting good at driving. No, dude, time, you were getting you were like, getting away every single I know, time, dude. I'm like I like and then I finally kind of realized I'm like man, I probably shouldn't be like <laughs> just fucking cracked at driving on Bernie as well. So like I, I did, it was funny. like in that moment I was doing good on PMA like driving wise you know what yeah. I mean then uh, you kind of go back and forth but like and so then like I, I saw a few like chats where it was like people were just like wow Bernie's really good at driving you know and I'm like oh <laughs> damn maybe I should cut back a little bit and so I remember crashing out on some stairs and then uh, the cops were like stopping us and then you just said you were just like. Uh, like Bernie's my hostage now. Bernie's my or, oh yeah, I like, like took you oh. hostage like three times and it worked three <laughs> it was, times. So that's it was like was technically against the rules to do that, and I was just like, yeah. I was just I bought it. It's like this is freaking hilarious. Nah, it, it was funny, dude. I was surprised though those cops that were getting chased. They actually like played along with it. Yeah, you know, I I remember a lot how some cops in PMA like oh you couldn't do shit with them, dude. Yeah, they just shoot your tires out or something. You yeah, know, shoot your tires <laughs> out or ram the shit out of you. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then talk mad shit when they get you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the PMA days are. I'm just glad that's kind of over. I think I think oh, a yeah, whitelisted same. server versus a public server is a big difference. You know, once you find a good whitelisted server, oh, yeah. it's like night and day comparison. Um, and rush hour has been. It's gone through its waves, you know. But for that, for me, it's oh, yeah, been definitely. really, really good. Um, so same with me. I've been I've been enjoying rush hour a lot too. It's been really good, good, good. How did you find out about rush hour? Uh. I think I was watching your stream one day and you were in rush hour and I was like, Oh shit. I was just like, I'll just check it out. And then, you know, I looked at all this, all the streamers at the time that were in rush hour. And I was like, this looks like a, you know, decent server to be in. Cause, um, originally like when I was in PMA, I, I like, I like left it. I remember when sometimes I would like, when we would like interact with each other the next day, I'm gone for like two weeks. Yeah. 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 It, it, it it sucks that it happened, but like I had a lot of work. Like I was getting so much work at the time, and I just it was just too much. I mean, real life first, bro. It's a, it's yeah. a fake world we live in, you know. So whatever, yeah. you know. And um, um what I was gonna go say, ahead. yeah. Uh, no, uh, sorry about that. Um, I wasn't in PMA forever, but then when I first started getting back in the RP a lot, uh, I, I met this these group of people that I still talk to like almost every day. And they're actually really supportive. They they really help me a lot, like posting stuff on YouTube. Like they'll be like, "Oh, you should like just try just post your stuff, man." Like they always like would motivate me to do it. And so, I I'm just bringing this up because this will like pertain to how I made Clarence. Okay, um, yeah. So the the Chris McDonald character actually evolved a lot, right? And I remember because we were talking about public servers, right? And compared to whitelisted servers. Because when you were in Russia at the time, I was in like, you know, these other smaller public servers, right? And like, I was getting bored of it. And, you know, I was like viewing RP differently. I'm just like, man, like, there's no content in these servers. Like, yeah. And then, and then when I saw you in Russia, I'm just like, oh shit, like, I wonder what he's up to now. And you were playing Nick Ender. I'm just like, dude, it's like, I bet if I was in Rush Hour. I can probably get a lot of content in there. Yeah. And then that's when I applied to it. And I'm like, oh, sh sweet. I'm, I was accepted. And, and it sucked because at first I thought I could make the crisp head, but then I couldn't. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's kind of annoying for sure. But, it's but, but, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but I think I already told you in DMs that I'm going to be getting it. Yeah. Uh, I might be getting it tomorrow. Ooh, so, that's exciting. So so now I'm going to like once I get that pet, I'm going to like full on like try to get into a lot of shit like like mostly RP stuff. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I think uh, uh, in terms of like playing a different character, we uh, Sonny and I talked about this, but in terms of playing a different character, 
How like big is that barrier? Not necessarily on rush hour, but in general, how big is that barrier to get somebody to like say yes to your RP at the start? You know what I mean? So like, so you you join rush hour, right? You make clearance. Mm -hmm. Um, how hard was that barrier to get over where somebody would interact with Clarence and start to understand what you're trying to do? Um, this is actually interesting. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, people played along with Clarence really, really well when I first met them, except for like, you know, uh, there's always the bad bunch that you'll meet, like the small percentage. I never really had any shitty interactions as Clarence ever, except for maybe once. Um, Good. I, think, I yes. remember. <laughs> I remember uh, when I was on as Clarence. I remember you called me, and then I told you I got taken hostage for an hour. <laughs> oh said, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, oh, bro, like so. These these. I'll tell you what happened. So I get taken hostage at Alta, I think, and. Uh, there is this group of people, they were chill, right? But the hostage they got, which I think he has a cop, bro. He was talking like he was fucking drunk. Like, I swear he was drunk, dude. <laughs> like, like, real life, like drunk? Yeah, like, like yeah, he yeah, was yeah. just, like, actually drunk. I hate when just, that happens, bro. I know, oh my and, God. like, bro, he wouldn't, he just wouldn't shut up. <laughs> he wouldn't worst, shut dude. up. And then he would, like, and then, like, when, oh, dude, normally when someone, like, annoys me, I'll just do memory loss RP and just be like, I don't know what you're saying. And then it's just like, <laughs> but, uh, he was just like, he's just, he's just like, Oh, you're no fun. I'm going to fucking kill you after this. And say, damn. Like that. And I'm just like, bro, like, Oh my God. You're drunk. Go to bed. And Clarence were like, oh, oh. I, I didn't even say anything. I just did. Yeah. I think I did like some funny slash me or something. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. The, uh, cause I, I remember our first like run with Clarence was very, very one-sided you know I, was, <laughs> yeah. I think i think i would say very one-sided and it's something that i want to talk about with the character which is kind of fun uh in my opinion was like seeing that kind of slow proge- progression between our characters and like you know we'd kind of like we kind of trap you into a situation then you'd like you know send yourself into the ocean or you'd like go and do something um and i think it it kind of allowed for the character to become for for my character was like this guy that you just kind of see right and it's just kind of like oh it's this guy you see oh how's clarence doing you know it's it's like this extra character that you can check in on and it's like always going to be like content in a way you know what i mean like that's just kind of how i understood it and um and then it, it, it took a turn i forget which day it like really really took a turn um definitely with like our whole like you know uh, like meth operation and stuff like that. But mm. the, um, I, f- I remember there was like one incident where I think we, instead of like you being like a hostage or something like that, we just like took you on something or we took you somewhere or it was like something like that where I kind of realized, man, we've been beating up on Clarence for a long time. And like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's time <laughs> to like actually do something with Clarence. And uh, what's funny is I didn't, I don't think at that time I knew it was you either. Like, no, I don't the, think so. The voice is so different that it's like so hard to tell. It's like such a big range, <laughs> yeah. you know, which is, uh, I mean, yeah, hats off to you for that. Um, oh, dude. I, but I, I, I really, I, I, I like playing yeah. characters with interesting voices. Um, see, I'm all, I'm all down for slow burn RP, especially slow burn. Like, I think when you play a character and you meet a group, um, I'm kind of against the whole like, oh, you meet like this group and then they just take you on a job right away. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I like building up a relationship with like, I like it. I like it building up. Right. And I'm also really into the whole consequences too. like, oh, mm. if you do this, that character is going to remember what you did. Like, unless they kill and them. Right. Dude, you're very good at that. Yeah. Cause like yeah. there'll be things that we do one day as like a one-off thing. And I remember Clarence just bring it up the next day. Like, like, like you wouldn't you wouldn't let it slip, which I think is cool no, it, because it, it, no, yeah, it'd be like J test. Where's J <laughs> test? I'm like, bro, it, that was like a week ago, bro. You good? And then it, like it just adds so much to the because yeah. there's everything remembered, you know, and it, yeah. it, there was like so many pieces you put together. So I guess what from your point of view, right? Um, what was kind of like as we started hanging out more? What were some of the positives? Were there any negatives? Were there you know? I, I just want to hear like your whole take on us starting to like oh like like the whole journey i did yeah yeah when i thought it was hilarious that you guys were like getting clarence fucked over so many times i thought it was funny as fuck yeah i 
because um, at, what was our first interaction? I think the 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 first person I met out of your group was actually Jay. Yeah, I remember yeah, yeah. I I had my sanitation truck, and then I saw Jay like sitting on it because I think you guys were like. I think I rewatched the VOD and this was when you guys were like freaking out because uh, materials were like barren. There was no material. Dude, yeah, yeah. That was a bad time. Yeah, and so you guys were like just struggling. Like you guys are basically getting anyone you can to buy materials from. <laughs> <laughs> and so I remember I saw Jay there and then like I started freaking out at him as Clarence because Clarence thought he was like fucking with his truck and shit. <laughs> and so like that's and that's how like Clarence met Jay at first. But um. No, I thought all the, the all the times you guys fucked over Clarence by throwing him in the water and stuff. I thought it was hilarious. Um, I think it was good like, setups, right? It was fun. Yeah, it was it was, like it was really good setups. And like the way Clarence is, Clarence, I like enabling people's RP as much as possible. Like especially like playing as Clarence too, right? Like if if they, if they plan to fuck over Clarence and like and like me like behind the screen, if I know that, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna let them do it. Like I want. I'm, the, them to, I'm similar. Yeah, I'm very similar yeah, to that. And so like. I was okay if, it, if it's good, shit. right? Like if it's not yeah, like some it, it, like it shitter good. type thing, it was, it's it was, it's whatever. But if it's like a funny yeah. thing, yeah, I'd, like well that that's actually we'll talk about that scene. But that's kind of like with the scene where Clarence takes 100k, you know, like same thing, oh my God, you know. Dude, I didn't but we'll talk about I that a little bit because we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll let it build up. But like, um, um yeah. And I think, I think my favorite scene out of every one that we've had was probably when I broke character and said the strip club. <laughs> Bro, I I have never in any time I've interacted with you heard you break character. It's and it's so rare for me to break character, but that was that was the limit. I couldn't. Bro, cuz okay, so here's the scene for anybody who didn't see this, okay? We roll up um but this is actually going to be a YouTube video of mine coming up here very soon. We're kind of going back and putting back up some of the other ones. But uh we basically go to the strip club. And it was a scene where I just, I don't ever like going there. I think it's kind of, weird. I don't like going it's like there a weird either. thing, but like, uh, I, I wanted to take Clarence there. Cause I think that would just be really funny. And, um, and so we take him there and then he's like, so I'm supposed to give you money. And like, <laughs> he ends up going up to a stripper and giving her $10,000, which is like for our kind of characters is not, it's not cheap. You know, like some no. people make buku bucks off the server and they find ways, whatever, whatever. But for, for guys like us, a lot of times, like money is like not easy, easy to come by, you know? Um, and so he pays the strip for $10,000 and then he's like, start saying, you start saying stuff like you want, I'm, so we're married now or like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this strip was so confused, bro. And so I'm sitting there dying. And then I, I go, I just go, <laughs> I go, bro, no, 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 you, you, you're, she's not even going to touch you. And you're like, what? should I <laughs> ask for my money back? Clar- and I go, giving Clarence shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Ask for your money back, bro. Oh, God. And then when I hear you say that, it was just like, oh man, that was just such a good, like satisfying oh, feeling to, for me. I'm like, dude, that was so cool to hear that. I don't know. It's just funny. I thought it was funny as fuck. Like everything that I was saying, I was smiling throughout the whole time. But then, like when when I said I was like, I'll go ask for my money back. I was like, the pro- the thought of like thought of someone like Clarence, like thought like meeting someone like Clarence at a strip club. You actually see someone like him, give a stripper money, and then try to ask for it back. Oh, it was you the, couldn't write a better scene, bro. It yeah, was the, like... the whole process behind that, I I, I broke mid I broke midway. <laughs> I'm actually I, happy it when was I heard you laugh too. I was like, "Oh man, oh yeah, she's awesome. She's funny." Yeah, no, she's she's really funny. Um, uh, that was a good oh. scene though. That's one of yeah, oh, that's yeah, one of, that was one of my favorites for sure. Yeah, that was that was really good. Well, even um, so, there was something that you taught me right before that scene. Actually, was a really important moment, and something I've been trying to instill a little bit now in my RP is, oh, yeah, um, like like more heartfelt moments with characters. Oh yeah, yeah. And think, yeah, it wasn't because yeah. it's really easy to do funny, in my opinion. It's like really easy to do funny. We can do funny all day. We can do um, funny, sad as well. Yeah. It's hard to do sad. It's hard to do legit mad, you know, and it's hard to do like, like it's hard to like RP being mad, like and make not, it sound real, you know, uh, not not for Clarence. It's pretty easy. To do I that. mean, for <laughs> Clarence. Yeah, he's always fucking mad. But like um, and then it's but it's also the heartfelt stuff is very hard to like act. It takes a lot of acting, 
you know? Yeah, it does. Um, and it I does. think that moment that we created, so what we did, like, I, I forget what it was, but you're like, I haven't really had many friends before. Oh, and yeah. I started finally, like, opening up as, like, Clarence finally started opening up, like, about his past. Yeah, which, like, that was it. That was what it was. Yeah, and that, that was- took a, that, that took about, like, two weeks for that to happen. I think Clarence, that like, was- talking with you guys. I think that was beautiful. I think it was a great oh, yeah, way to was... send it into like a like heartfelt thing. Yeah. And um it kind of made it kind of challenged me a little bit like I want to start I want people to feel something sometimes through the RP, you know? Like yeah. which is so stupid because it's like a video game and it's like this like dumb idea, you know, where we're just like playing these characters, but I think in the same way like like TV shows and movies can make you feel, I think yeah. there's a way to do it that's not like cheesy. And I don't think I've like found that exact thing. And I, you can't force it as well. So it's kind of like this, yeah. like it has to happen. And that was one of those moments where it happened. There's actually a few times with the Clarence storyline, um, thus far where that's happened. Yeah. And, um, and it was, it taught, it, it, yeah, it taught me a lot. Dude. It taught me a lot. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, no, I feel the same way. It, it's hard to, it's hard to create a heartfelt moment. A lot of times in RP, cause you know, depends on like how it is it could be cringy to some people or you know it could just be like un you know unnecessary but like yep in, in that situation though it was completely necessary because like clarence already knew the whole group for a long time and like clarence like the way i played clarence you know a lot of people were standoffish of him because you know when you first meet him he's such a wild bizarre character like Yep. That's the thing. I, I like playing characters where you can treat them like NPCs. Like you don't yeah, think that's, that's like, a great way to think about it. Yeah, I I like playing characters like that. You treat them, you can treat them like an NPC, and like Clarence is a perfect example of that, right? And so Clarence never like the story is like Clarence never really had any friends because he had a hard time making friends, except for one. And the one friend he does have, he's actually he's he's a good buddy of mine. He was in PMA before too. He, he's a really nice guy. He's he's from. From. he's from egypt he's a re- he's a really really genuine dude and yeah. he, he has an, he has an old character that he plays and you know we were doing shit we were doing shit together for a little bit in rush hour but we were doing that when i think he went to prodigy but, oh okay yeah, yeah yeah and so that was clarence's only friend but other than that like clarence never really had any friends right because um mm. the story is and i think i told you i'm pretty sure i told you guys like clarence's storyline like as clarence obviously um when he was really young he worked in the mines a lot like the coal mines because back in the yep. day you know young kids worked in the mines back in the day right like mm-hmm. and so clarence was one of them and that's <laughs> what he has like miners lung and miners throat basically like the because all the coal and shit that's why he talks like that mm. and so you know like his stories that he had a wife and shit but you know she left him and stuff like i'll just like speed run like his storyline and so oh, yeah i want to hear it yeah and so like his wife left him is this is a story right for someone who works in construction because you know the the story is that clarence actually like he's dying right like he he he's he has like you know his lungs are really fucked up Mm. and uh when he quit like the story is when he quit working in his coal mine job he moved to los santos right because he's been doing like all kinds of small things what i would used to do um before clarence met you guys i would make like ads on like certain things that clarence would do like jobs and stuff that he'll like offer like they go hire me i'll do this right (laughs) that's how like so that's how clarence was making his money by like doing these things and then so he never really had any friends like and that's why he's that's why he's like always so like paranoid and shit right he thinks everyone's always after him because like yeah should always happen to him but then like when clarence met you guys you know i know you guys like fucked him over a lot and like you wanted to kill you guys, which was really funny. But then, like, once I think once you actually started like doing shit with him, like taking him out and stuff, like Clarence also started understanding like how it is to have friends and shit. And then, like, after like two weeks when you guys mm. hung out with Clarence, you know, um, that's when he started opening up, right? He's just like, I don't really have any friends and shit because he never he never experienced that feeling of opening up to people. And so, like, your character Nick, like, like did that for Clarence basically. Which is like, well, and what's so like fucked up about the storyline, right? Is that my character is is overall using Clarence, right? Yeah, like you're um, manipulating him all the fucking I'm, time. I've manipulated like him. I've like created him into exactly what I need from him. 
Yeah. Um, and it was kind of hard to play out at times because like you're like sitting there and like just gaslighting this character into <laughs> like what he's going to become, you know what I mean? And eventually it turns into like he turns into somebody that yeah. I eventually like take action on like, you know, possibly killing, possibly not, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. to me that's it's like such a deep storyline and it, 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 it kind of took me by surprise because I don't know. It, it was, yeah. Uh, I mean, it was really hard. Uh, it will like, I want to talk about one more scene before we talk about too much at the end, but like, mm-hmm. um, or too much of the end of the story, but like, it was really hard, like making those decisions because personally oh, yeah. Clarence is like everything I love having around me. I mean, the decisions that you make for Clarence are just freaking amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like all of that. And it was, it's really hard to make some of those decisions sometimes in RP. Uh, but unfortunately I chose a, a storyline where it was really high stakes, you know? Yeah. And, um, that kind of needed this, like I had for the first time in my like RP career, I had to make really definitive, um, like decisions, you know, or decisions. Yeah. Sorry, I hit my mic, but, um, yeah, it, it was, it was pretty difficult. Like on some of those little, little decisions, you know, um, oh, yeah. one of the other scenes I thought about though, um, was uh the scene where we had just beat up the ballas and then the cops rolled up on us oh, yeah. so the cops roll up on us um for anyone who didn't see this scene and uh Clarence has been gaslit into oblivion to believe that pretty much all cops are IRS agents after his money um and that's solely been through mainly my character and uh, the, the characters around me and uh, so he finally sees, and actually in particular BCSO, which is funny, like a department of the police. <laughs> and, uh, so he finally sees them. And then, uh, I don't know, talk about that, that scene from your point of view. I thought that was fucking hilarious. That, that's when I bashed the, I think that's when I did the, the slash me smashes teeth on the ballers. Right. Yeah. You did that. Like, so we beat up the ballers, right. Yeah, which was cool. Then, which was a cool scene in itself. Yeah, It, it was, it was really cool. It was funny. And then Clarence had a heart attack. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, I was, that part. <laughs> <laughs> what I was thinking because uh, the thing is too Clarence has a bad heart like uh because before I was hanging out with you guys I was doing like EMS RP with Clarence like you know taking Clarence to the hospital and then like you know basically like trying to like show them like oh yeah this character has heart problems so like Ooh, that's cool that. I've, yeah that's interesting and so um yeah, after I did the slash me, like when I smashed the baller's teeth in, and like when I smashed him out, I was thinking, I'm just like, like there's no way someone who's 73 could do all this and not have a fucking heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I, I just then I started out, then Clarence like started having a heart attack, and then when I, and then when Clarence passed out, I was like, I was laughing the whole time. I'm just like, oh shit, like the cops are here now. And then when I was on the ground when he was like trying to resuscitate Clarence, right? I was like thinking, I'm just like, oh shit, like. It's, it's the BCSO, and Clarence hates the BCSO the most. <laughs> and so I'm just like, like I should I should unkill Clarence, because he died for a second, right? He died for like yeah, a minute or I two. Was scared. I thought you were going to perma right there. I was no, like, I, I, wasn't, I was not going to perma. I was perma like, there. wait, what's going on here? Like, what the hell? Oh, I but, imagine if I did, though, that'd be wild. That would have been um, wild. Well, I've always thought it'd be interesting to see somebody perma from like a heart attack or something like that. Yeah. Like, there's no, so, you never see that. It's always down in yeah, the blaze of glory. I, that's true. You do. You never really do see that. Per- Perming is a hard decision, dude. It's especially very hard. You, yeah. Especially if you put a lot of time into the character. Well, especially if you're streaming and oh, you're yeah. creating YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of your content is centered around those characters, you know? Yeah. But, um, sorry, c- continue, continue. Yeah. And so when the BCSO was like doing a CPR uh, animation, whatever you call it, I was just like, like, this would be a perfect time to like, wake up as Clarence and then Clarence slowly starts realizing like, wait a minute, you're the IRS. Right. And so I was like, all right, let's just like, so I made Clarence slowly wake up. Then I was like thinking, I'm like, all right, how am I going to do this? Like if I just, if I try to hit them with the hammer right away, I'm just going to get shot. Yeah. 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 And so I'm just like, well, I got to build it up. And so then, so then yeah, Clarence started like realizing like, like, Oh, this is the IRS. And when Clarence got up, I'm just like, I was like, wait, like the cop that was there, he was one of the cops that would pull out the IRS dog on Clarence. Oh, that's so, so funny. That, that's why I was asking him. I was just like, 
was like, what do you do to a local man? Bro, who's that weak? line fucking blew my mind, bro. I was like, when you say, you're like, I, I can't do the Clarence voice for the shit, but like, when you're like, what would you do if you saw a local man selling tacos on the street? And he's like, sir, sir, put the hammer down. You're like, answer yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh my God. I'm just sitting there watching. I'm like whispering to Pablo. Like, I don't know if you watched it back at all, but. I I'm, did, watch, I'm whispering did. to Pablo. I'm like, okay, you take the one on the left. I'll take the one on the right. This yeah. is going down. <laughs> so I was thinking the whole time, too. I'm just like, I, was like, I know they're not going to let Clarence get just taken away. They're going to help him. And, so, <laughs> and then when they when they warned him, like, oh, we're going to shoot if you approach. And I'm just like, all right, let's just do it. So then I ran at them as Clarence, and Clarence got shot. <laughs> Dude, well, I, lo- I loved that. That was just so funny, yeah, bro. Yeah, it was, it was really funny. I, I really enjoyed it. I... I it was actually cool how clean it was because like yeah right. it was a really good scene like and the thing is with Clarence too like the one way how Clarence enables RP for some people is like not really fear RP but like when you're talking to someone like Clarence like he's clearly like unstable as fuck like actually unstable yeah and uh, it's just like he kind of introduces you to like be scared of people like Clarence like if he's freaking the fuck yeah. out right. And well, I think so, that like, cop, you gave him the cop a scene that could happen in real life, right? Where yeah. somebody's like irate and going crazy and they yeah. want, they're like, have a weapon towards him. And, you know, he's like, oh my God, this guy's crazy. Like, this <laughs> yeah. guy's insane. Like, what do I do here? You know, like, uh, and like, do you choose lethal? Do you not? Like that kind of an opportunity for a cop is, is, is cool. Like for them to yeah. have different scenes like that, where most likely, you know, going into that, you're going to lose. And yeah. you're giving them that scene. Uh, I do some. I do something similar with that. With like sometimes traffic stops. You know, um, oh, yeah. you just stop. You let them go through like a full traffic stop type thing. Not trying to be funny. Not trying to like do a whole you know yada yada yada. Like just allowing them to go through like normal cop shit gives them this like immersion yeah. that they wouldn't normally have from like a lot of characters because everyone's trying to steal their car or everyone's trying to like make them laugh or say something stupid to them or whatever. You know. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's a cool way. Yeah. Like you said, enabling RP, which I I think is something I didn't expect to hear. Like, I, not, not that I don't think Clarence enabled RP, but I always thought Clarence would need his RP enabled. That is the the, the, the style of the character. You know what I mean? But I mean, you, you can create anything out of nothing. Like, let's just be real. Like on any of your characters, but Sometimes when you play like a different type of character and you just get like stonewalled all the time or it's like some stupid scene, somebody doesn't stretch it out or they don't have the time to talk to you or whatever it is. Oh, I hate um, that shit, dude. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. You know? Um, Speaking of which, like, I mean, the thing is, like, when I played Clarence and Rush Hour, like, like I said before, I never really had any issues with like stonewalled moments. Well, I, I, I kind of lie. I remember I actually streamed one day and I think this was like when you guys were in prodigy. I think I streamed Clarence one day in rush hour oh, and nice. I was trying, I was trying to do stuff with the cops. Right. But there was only like, oh, I forgot the cop's name. He's a really good cop. He, he hangs out with Fupa a lot. Um, McGinnis maybe. Or, uh, um, Matt. Uh, I can't remember his, I can't remember his name. He talks like, I don't know. I can't remember his fucking name. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when I was streaming, it actually made me quit stream. I think this is when Rush was going through. Like, uh, I think they were like still trying to, you know, wean out all their like, you know, low quality yeah. cops. I hate saying low quality cops because I think like ugh, it's hard to, you know, like when people say like, oh, it's low quality. It's just like, yeah, I mean, it is, but. You know, I just hate being rude about it, right? But yeah, it's hard because, like, uh, like when you start to realize that these are other people, like on the other side of yeah. these characters, you know, and maybe they were trying their best that day, and in your opinion, it's low quality or whatever. Um, it's hard, you know, to yeah, kind of like is. say certain things, but also there is like a there is a line, you know, yeah, there is no, like, I, and I so know. yeah, and so when I approached these cops because someone gave Clarence meth, right, and I wanted to like give the cops a chance to like meet Clarence and be like, Oh, well, you know, he's clearly like an unstable, scared individual. Let's try to help him. But like the cops I was talking to, they did not give a fuck. They're like, Oh yeah, just like here, give me it. They, I gave them the <laughs> just and they're like, all right. All right, cool. Like, See you later, bro. Yeah. And that's basically what they did. And I was just like, <sighs> and then I just like walked <laughs> away 
and I was just driving around. I'm just like, bro, like Civ RP here is dead right now. And so like I quit streaming. Dude, there was a dark age though. Um, and I'm actually excited because I think I'm going to try to get like uh, Sal and Manny on a podcast. Yeah. But there was like a dark age for um, uh, for Rush Hour where um, the server was getting DDoSed every day. Oh, um, dude, that was It was, uh, you know, it, it kind of didn't allow for a lot of us streamers to like have stability in the server. Um, but also like it was like uh, this moment where there wasn't any Civ RP. And I always say Civ RP is like the central unit of a uh of a server like if you don't have civ rp the crim stuff doesn't feel as real the yep. the, the cop stuff doesn't feel as real and it just like feels dead you know yeah um and it was just like this that, and that's a reason why I, that's another reason why i tried out like prodigy as well was because of that but i also wanted yeah. to try a, a server that was like just crazily populated mm. see th- 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 that's how i feel too no it's fine Civ RP is just as important as EMS RP. And I, yeah. and it's the thing. EMS RP, in my opinion, oh, dude, I don't know how some people can do it. You, know, you stand in one spot every day, right? And like, it's probably the most mundane kind of role, like RP you can do, in my opinion, because like you're doing the same thing over and over, right? But yeah. you need EMS. They need the RP. That's why every time it's Clarence or Chris, I'll try to give them RP because they need it. I think, yeah, um, it's kind of uh, like I've been trying to do different things with EMS. I think the yeah. biggest way I would RP out EMS and trying to make it interesting is like the actual hospital. I'd make it feel like general hospital or something like that. Yeah. You know? Like I'd make it like this really dramatic place where there's like crazy shit going on inside those walls yeah. that you don't even think would happen. You know, like I, I just think that's the way I would take it uh, alongside of the actual like job of it, you know, because yeah. if you think about it, that's kind of a little bit i mean obviously you have that like heroic idea in real life where it's like you're saving lives or yeah. you know helping people and that kind of stuff but i imagine even uh that like after a long time of doing it that feeling kind of goes away a little bit you might even feel a little bit like the game does in this in, the, in a way you know um depending yeah. on what you're doing like oh these do these people really care that we're taking care of them like that kind of stuff and uh i don't know, I, I think what really is the interesting part is like the people that you do it with. Yeah. And like how you can like elevate their RP within what you're doing. And it's not about just like actually saving people. It's about, yeah, you know, like, I don't know. It's the whole experience. And, uh, yeah, I, I think, uh, I, I try to do the same thing though with the EMS. It's like it's yeah. hard, but, um, okay. No. I want to talk about, I, I want to talk about the ending of the Clarence story. I'm so curious about yeah. this. Uh, not really. And it might not be the end. You never know. But, um, and I, you know, I want you to keep that a mystery uh, as much as you want, but I want to hear what were your thoughts on that whole process? So if people don't know how this ended and you're listening here, um, basically there was a moment where Clarence, uh, got scammed by DigiDin allegedly. And, uh, which is a place for like you buy computers and stuff like that. And he <laughs> bought cameras yeah. thinking the, the idea was so crazy. It was like, thinking that you could place the camera anywhere and see inside a burger shot, but not that you had to place the camera inside a burger shot. It was yeah. just a total clearance <laughs> moment. And uh, then he wants me to help him because he's been scammed because the camera didn't work correctly. And so yeah. me being me, I just said, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I get hit over the head with a hammer and I want to know about your decision here and did you think that decision was going to have such repercussions because what happens Um, next you got to tell people what happens next but yeah (laughs) yeah so after i i hit nick and after hit clarence hit 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 nick in the head on accident um the whole time while i was thinking i'm just like i was like oh god like he was like he's like he's rping like he's like fucked up right now like like i wonder how clarence is gonna handle it and then like once we finally left digiden after angel showed up I love Angel's character, by the way. I like Kaya. She's cool. Um, after we were like walking around, I remember. Oh, I can't remember how it started, but I think uh, as Clarence, I asked you for twenty bucks. Yep. That that was the first time I was like, I was like, let's see if you'll like give Clarence something. I'm just like, and then I asked you like, as Clarence, like, can I have twenty bucks? And he gave Clarence twenty bucks. That. Yep. And but then you were still like, your your Nick was still fucked up, and he's just like, oh, did, did I give you that money? And I'm just like, 
I was like, I did kind of open it up, huh? I yeah, yeah, it you were opening yeah. it up. I'm just like, Clarence should ask him again for twenty bucks. Then you, Clarence asked you again for twenty bucks, and you did it. I'm just like, I wonder if Clarence, I was like, let's see how far I can get it to see how much money he'll actually give Clarence. Then like, then Clarence asked Nick for two k because like this is the thing about Clarence. Clarence loves money a lot. Yep, like a lot. That's all he thinks about. Like someone brings up money, he'll be like money. And like shit like that, right? Like, yep. like he loves money a lot. Like to the point where he'll put money over anything, even himself, <laughs> in yeah. ways. And so when after Clarence like emptied out your uh Nick's pockets, and then uh that's when I was just like uh Cl- Clarence would probably ask for more money, like just just keep asking. And then when Clarence asked like Nick, and then you're just like Oh, I'm out. I, I don't have any money in my pockets. And then Clarence, Clarence knows about bank accounts. So he's just yep. like, and then he asked how much money you have in the bank. And then we went to the ATM, right? And then, because um, I knew like there, there's the business account shit, right? Well, Clarence well I, I opened that, that up to you actually. Because what yeah. I did was I, um, I go, you go, how much money do you have in your account? And I said, which one? Yeah, because you I wanted you, one. I wanted you to like be, I wanted you to like lean into it and see what you, I just yeah. want to see what you would do, you know, I was like, okay. And then like when you said which one, uh, I think Clarence asked you like how much is in the, how much is in the first one? And yeah. And you said like, I think your, your, like your personal account was really low. You only had like 8,000, I think. Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. And then you're like, oh, this says 8,000 and the other one says 300,000 and then Clarence was just like he started freaking out because when he knows there's like a lot of money he starts starts sweating he starts you know getting clammy and shit right yeah, and yeah. so that's when I that's when like I was like I was like, well, like would he give me 100k like would Clarence get okay did you think right now? I would do it would, no did, I didn't th- think you were gonna do it I thought you were gonna give him 10k but then when when you gave Clarence a hundred k, I saw like the hundred k pop up on the number shit, and yeah. I started laughing so hard. I'm just like, I was like, oh no, I can't give it back to him now. Like <laughs> Clarence is not gonna give it back to him. And I, so dude, I, and no one, everyone in my chat's like, don't do it. What are you, what are you doing? You know, like they, they don't. Like, they're like, wait, what are you doing? Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, and I'm like, I'm like, bro. I mean. I was like, I think I even said, I'm like, if you guys think I won't do this for this scene, there's no freaking way. Oh, dude. And then when you gave it to all oh my, I started laughing. I didn't know what to do. I'm just like, oh, uh, slash me $100 bills in box. <laughs> yeah, bro. It was so good. And then, Cla- and then Clarence, wa- uh, you walked uh, with Clarence all the way to the bank to put it away. I love, what, I love the little thing where you're like, we, we should run. We should run. To the bank. <laughs> you <laughs> know, Clarence was freaking, Clarence was scared. Like, this is the thing. Clarence knew what he, he, he what he did was wrong. Because mm-hmm. after he dropped you off, I I was just like, I was like thinking, I'm like, oh, Cl- Clarence feels bad. Because he, he felt, even though he, when when he walked away and laughed, when he took the money, yeah, Clarence started driving back. And then like, it, it I was hit like, him, right? That, like, yeah, like, it hit him. Yeah. And then Clarence instantly goes back to Digiden and starts telling Kaya like, I did something wrong. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and then like Clarence was like actually freaking the fuck. He was scared. Because. Yeah. Because uh, Nick was telling Clarence, like, oh, whoever lies to me, they're, they'll die. Like, that's what you're saying, right? <laughs> and so <laughs> Clarence was just like, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. He's going to kill me. And then Kaya's Did you go like, to the Jack, too? I think you went yeah, to Jack so as well, right? I, I went to Kaya first. And um, Clarence was talking to her. And, and she was just saying, like, basically, like, trying to calm him down. And she's like, it's, like, it's okay, hon. Just tell Nick that you what you did. You tell him what you did. And everything should be okay. And then Clarence is like, "What if I'm too scared?" And then she's just like, "Well, then I'll have to kill you." And then Clarence what? started, fr- yeah, no. she was saying like she was gonna kill Clarence. Holy. Every- yeah, and so Clarence got scared and in- it went back to like the compound where everyone was at. Yeah, yeah, so they were all there, like Paco. On the Paco, I don't know why it's Paco. <laughs> Pablo, Pablo, Jack. I think Chad was there and Doc was there. I think Doc was there. And Clarence instantly fessed up to all of them. He's just like telling them like. Like, oh, I did something wrong. I tricked Nick. I, I made him give me a hundred thousand. Yeah. And then the they were just like, Oh, do we gotta kill you, Clarence? And then Clarence started freaking out. Oh, He's just no. like, You're my best friends, please don't. Like he was freaking out. And they're just like, like, do you still have the money? And then Clarence says, Yeah, it's in my bank. It's like, okay, just give it back to Nick. Like the moment you wake up and he's around, give it back to him. And then yeah, I think that's good, good that they waited for that. By yeah, the way, I think Jack, that's, Jack was, that's really cool. Then, 
And Jack was like trying to like put it through Clarence. Like he's like, he's like, oh, don't worry, mate. It's all good, bro. Like he was like saying that shit, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Saying it. he was like trying to get it to him. Like it's okay. You still have the money. Just give it back to him in twenty four hours. And then, um, <laughs> then then when the day uh, when I, came yeah, up, when I came right, back to the next day, right? Yeah, because I, I was hoping that I would wake up. I'm gonna be real. I was hoping you spent it all. Like I was hoping I was I was I thinking w- about that too. Like I was hoping when I woke up that you had like a new car that you roll up in or <laughs> like something like that. Yeah. If if it was gonna go that direction, you know, I was like, dude, I wonder if he's gonna do it. Cause like once that money's gone, like that's I mean, that's crazy. It's gone. You know, it's like gone. how do how do we deal with that, you know? Yeah. Um, and I'd be fine with it taking that hit, you know, for the RP. I don't really give a shit. Um yeah. but it was uh no, I thought about yeah, it. I was I, I was excited coming on to the next day, you know, and people were like, bro, like on TikTok and Twitch, it was like they're waiting for me to go live to yeah, see what was gonna just, happen. Yeah, you know what I mean? They were like, see, right? What yeah. the f- how is Clarence gonna get out of this or not or whatever? Yeah. I was I was thinking about spending it too. But that'd have been interesting. It would have been an interesting it, idea. Yeah. And I was just like Originally, I was gonna buy a bunch of useless shit with hundred thousand. Oh my god! It would it would that would so been, perfect. Yeah. yeah, it would have been useless shit. It would have been like it probably would have been all paint thinner and stuff from the fucking uh, tool shop. Because Clarence. <laughs> so originally, I was gonna be like, "Oh, Clarence is gonna think like, oh, you guys need paint thinner because you know we're making because you trick Clarence into thinking they're making, oh my making god. Paint. I thought we were making paint. I thought yeah, we were making- it, yeah. And so. But I just went with like, well, Cl- Clarence is more scared of what's gonna happen, so he didn't touch it. And then he told everybody, so they all knew, so they would tell Nick, like, oh, like, because like, I think I watched, I was like watching, uh, I was watching the VA, and I think like everyone was asking, like, like where's there's a hundred thousand dollars missing? And they said, like, no, you gave you gave it to Clarence, and you're and Nick's just like, what? I didn't give it to Clarence. Like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you gave Clarence a hundred thousand dollars. He came back here explaining, and he felt terrible that he took the hundred thousand dollars from you. Yeah, and that's yeah. when, like, and that's when you called Clarence and, like, you're telling him, like, you know, he, like, he's fucked. Like, like, if you want to make this all better, you're gonna go cook for a long time on the yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna just, be. Yeah, and then that's and then that's when um, oh, this was actually weird. Uh, what what was really weird um when I called you because. What I was gonna do is like I was I was gonna pull out the money and put it back in and then pull it out like multiple times to see if like the cops or whatever is just like why is Clarence pulling out money and putting it back in? I was hoping yeah. like they would like you know just be like what are you doing with all this money and then Clarence because he's Clarence is freaking out right he doesn't know what yeah, to do yeah 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 he doesn't know if he wants to give it back to you or like he's he wants fighting to keep himself it. that he wants yeah, to keep it but like, he like, doesn't want to lose himself. everything yeah and, yeah. and so what was weird like after i did that and after i called you that's when what's his name i think zimmerman called i think it could have been kind of metagaming a little bit because uh the guy who played who was doing his character zimmerman he called clarence saying he knew he took out 100k even though I. Didn't oh know I god did. oh no yeah and hmm. so i was just like i didn't i didn't really pursue it so i was like so I that's when you I don't know. know. It might, you know, you never know where people find yeah, that stuff. And it, I feel yeah, like he's really know. good. So I wouldn't imagine that it would be that obvious. Like someone just be like, boom, you know what I mean? But maybe, yeah. maybe you never know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, no. And then like after, after you said we're going to meet up, I'm just like thinking, I'm like, okay, like I got to think about this. Like, that's what I wanted to hear. This is what I yeah. definitely want to hear this. Yeah. Like so where, where when you, you were coming to meet Clarence the, at Polito, I was like, I was, cause I had a, I had that, uh, BF injection, that like weird little dune buggy two door car. Yep. And I was like thinking, I'm just like, I was like, oh, how am I going to do this? Like, like, cause I knew you, you guys, you weren't, you, I knew you weren't going to kill Clarence right away. Yeah. But when, when you were pulling up, I'm just thinking like, well, Clarence has all this money. Like he's, he, he's like a totally different person right now. Cause he has yep. all this money with him right now. He's probably not so, slept. He's probably like, you know, yeah, he's probably, been... probably like, yeah. And so he's delirious a little bit. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. When, when Nick was talking to Clarence all the time and Clarence with the box in his hand, I was trying, I was being like kind of subliminal with it. Like Clarence was hypnotized by the box. Okay. The, the, the thing is like Clarence wasn't listening to a whole thing you were saying to him. Cause he was like holding the box of money, just like mesmerized mm. by it. And then when you said that you were going to take it back, that's when Clarence started freaking out. I'm just like, okay, no. What Clarence would do here, if he knew that he was going to lose all his money that he thought he earned, but at the same time he feels bad, like, 
Like, it's just like, it's conflicting him so much that he can't even speak because he literally couldn't speak. Yeah. Well, one but thing then, I can tell too is like, so you gave me the box, right? Yeah. And then I could tell that you actually wanted it back so you could do something, you know? Yeah. But I thought it was unrealistic for me to give you the box back in hand. So that's why I put yeah, the box put, on, the put it on the hood. You put it on the hood. Because I felt like that then, made a lot more sense versus yeah. like, if I gave you the box back in hand, why would I do that? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like, there's just no chance I would give you that box back. So I just set it down and was like, all right, we're going to talk about your new job. You know, you, you're going to be cooking for me for a long time. <laughs> you know, like, just yeah, like bullshit. Were, I probably wouldn't have even yeah. done it, but. Yeah. yeah. And so Cl- Clarence wasn't thinking about that. He was just looking at the box the whole time. And then when. <laughs> Clarence had the smart idea of just like he's like because he's only thinking about the money and then when you said you were going to take it back you're going to do all this shit to him um he, he that this one Clarence thought like there's something behind you guys right that's when he, he tricked you like can't there's believe something you tricked behind me, bro. You. I can't believe you totally tricked me on that one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you guys turned around that was like that that was my decision right there. Like I was like, okay, they they're not looking at Clarence right now. Does Clarence take the money or does he let you guys keep it? Yeah. But no, Cl- Cl- Clarence loves money a lot more than himself, so he took it. And then he he tried to get away. He didn't even care that you guys were like his friends and shit at that point because yeah, all that money, right? Well, I think I I saw that, and I might have been wrong, but I saw that as like a like from an RP, almost like a tip of the cap, like. I want you to, you know, take it to the next level of like doing what I did. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure if that was what you wanted or if it was like no, the wrong I was, decision to make or no, if it was, was kind of like, I, I was kind of giving you the doors of like, okay, look, both like both the decisions that you had to keep them alive or not keep them alive, basically were both going to be two negatives because mm-hmm. Clarence doesn't forget. Right. Yeah. And so like Clarence is going to like hold a grudge and like, think like oh like you stole a hundred thousand dollars from him because he was going to bring that up right but um yeah no, I, I want you to make the hard decision because like with with the clarence character um because i played clarence in other servers before like even with like my rp buddies and like i would give them these exact same like options to on like what to do something fucked up to clarence if they got to kill him or not yeah it's like i don't know clarence is like that one character where it's like you get so attached to him like sentimentally i guess in a way yeah because he's such a good character it's just like it's like oh i don't think i could kill him but i have no choice like my character has no choice right yeah and so that's that's what i was basically doing like i want to give you a choice that's going to be very difficult but like you know it has to be done right like your character has to act on like what's going on. So Clarence stole the box and then, he st- and then you guys started shooting at Clarence and like Clarence was freaking out. I don't know but if you I watched wasn't... it back, but I was shooting like around. I was like, <laughs> Oh yeah. I was like, so, yeah. I was like shooting around. Yeah, the car, yeah. you know? No, Son- but... Sonny went for the tires, right? Oh, away, he did, Sonny. bro. He's such yeah, a grinder. He... He's such a freaking try hard, bro. He really is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like at heart. He's so funny, bro. Yeah. But and, uh, yeah, so... I, that's where I saw it going though. I just was like, yeah. okay, I, I just know it seemed like that's where it was going. And so then that's kind of why I started taking it direction. I think, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like as, as good as a character Clarence is and like how lovable he is, you know, he, he still has negatives about him that can affect everybody around him. So like his love for money, right? Like you never know. They could, if you like let Clarence live, what if like you guys did a job? Cause even I don't know what I would do yet. Like if you guys, if you guys like let Clarence live and he took him on a job and you gave Clarence the money, he he wouldn't give it to you guys. <laughs> probably no, not. Yeah. He w- no, he wouldn't. He would he'd probably fight for it, right? But um, yeah, no, so that's uh, that's when I gave you the decision. Like, you know, if you gotta kill him, you gotta kill him. If you gotta keep him alive, keep him alive. But either way, like both decisions are gonna have negatives to it. Because Clarence, so- like, he he's a character that never forgets. He's the perfect example of what you do to him, it's gonna come back to you. Yeah. No matter what so it is. what did you think about the decision to take him out the chili ad and because if, if people was are listening happen. like who didn't know or don't know what, how it ended but basically we took him up the chili ad and then I, I tried to do a pretty like a pretty serious scene you know like on oh chili yeah ad, and i think it was good I, I think it um it hit the mark that i wanted it to hit i think yeah but i wasn't sure too. how you felt about it you know well i knew i knew it was gonna happen 
I knew Nick was going to kill Clarence. Like, he was going to throw him off Mount Chiliad. Because what was funny <laughs> is that everyone besides Nick thought, well, Clarence gave you back the money, so it's okay. They all thought that. They're just like, no, you don't got to kill Clarence. Like, it's fine. He gave you back the money, so it should be fine, right? Yeah. And, like, knowing, I was just like, no, like, like Nick didn't care. He's like, no, he fucking tricked me. He's dead. Like, basically, like, what's going to happen? Like, like, he went against me. Like, he crossed me, basically, right? Well, it was more of the second time. So he did two times now, right? So he stole it from me from the ATM, and then he gave it to me. yeah, yeah. I put it on the hood, and he took it again. Yeah. And at that point, like, we're we're in such a... I mean, serious like arc that we're doing with this whole drug thing that it's like anytime somebody like my character doesn't trust anybody from this, yeah. you know, and he finally let like Clarence into that. And I think it would like almost boomerang back around to where he's pissed off now that he did that. And that's why I chose the line. Like you were just like, you're just like the rest of them. And yeah. it's like, because my character thinks everyone's going to just fuck him over in the end. And yeah, nobody's going to be like trustworthy, you know? Um, and that's where, that's why I took it that way. And why I felt like the character would go that direction with it. Um, yeah, no, I was expecting that. Um, I, I was ready for it too. I'm just like, all right, here it is. Let's see. Like Nick's probably going to kill Clarence right here. And, uh, when, when he took Clarence to the plank to walk off, um, by, by the way, I want you to know, (laughs) uh, the armored walk is, it, the armored walk it behaves really weird with objects. <laughs> so when I I was nowhere near the edge, and then I I nudge like literally like you can watch it. I I'm nowhere near the edge. I'm nudging a little close just to get closer, and then my <laughs> then Clarence hopped off. And now it was that's the why perfect I was, way. Was oh yeah, it, way. yeah. That's why I was like, oh shit, because I, <laughs> I didn't think that's what was gonna happen. But um, I I thought it was the perfect way to end that. Yeah. Because it was just like so Clarence to do to like fall off versus getting yeah. shot, but also it leaves it open ended, right? So yeah. I shoot him in the head, he falls off a mountain. You know he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Like yeah, you know I mean, um, yeah. but now he's fallen down there, and we think he's probably dead. Yeah. And so I like that open endedness for you, and you can decide to do whatever the hell you want to do with that. I but like Clarence. you said, Clarence never forgets, and Clar- Clarence never forgets, dude. Like. He does, and, he and he knows a lot about Nick. Yeah, he, now. he knows like, a lot, about a Nick. lot about a lot. Nick. And, uh, I'm just excited. If that does come back and it does come back to bite him, I'll be excited for it. Uh, but oh, yeah. I don't want to know if or what, uh, but I, I just, I won't tell you yeah. when it's going to happen. Like, like I said before, like, I think when you asked about it and on discord, uh, Clarence isn't dead, you know? Um, yeah. I just want you just, to know you were able, like, in my opinion, you were able to do whatever the hell you wanted to. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I didn't want yeah. you to feel locked down and thinking that I was, oh, I think no, he's dead. I, or, I, yeah. No, I, n- I never felt that way. Um, good, good, good. No, he's just on hiatus for now because, like, playing Clarence, it's hard. It's really hard to play Clarence because, uh, like, mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you, I've almost passed out multiple times <laughs> playing Clarence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, I, I, no joke, I'm yelling at the top of my fucking lungs. Oh, Clarence you almost like actually passed out from like exhaust, like the, the exhaustion of like. Yeah, because like you know when or... Clarence Clarence will be like, oh, like when he's like, yeah, yeah really yeah. heated. There was a few times where like I almost passed out because oh, I was shit. like, yeah, and so. <laughs> and on top of that, too, like playing Clarence, like if I play him too much, you know, I'll get burnt out of him, right? And then you know, it'll be yeah. hard for me to get into character and shit, you know, like. But um. I'm yelling at the top of my fucking lungs, dude. Like, yep. <laughs> like no joke. And so, well, just like, like getting a phone call from Clarence of, hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, on top do, of that, do you have neighbors? Like, you have like neighbors that are closer? No, like, uh, no, I actually don't. But um, okay, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. I'm not like the only one in the house. You know, I got my brother. Yeah, and, like, my yeah, brother, yeah. My father. So like, oh, uh, there was actually a couple times where like I remember my my older brother. He'll come downstairs and be like, "Are you okay?" I'm just like, <laughs> "Yeah." I'm just like, I'm just playing my game. And he's just like, well, I'm, I'm hearing you scream help. And I'm just Dude, that's like, crazy. I, was, I was like, no, I'm just playing my game. He's like, oh, I thought like someone broke into your room or something. I'm just like, <laughs> no, like you wouldn't hear that. Like if someone broke into my room, I'd probably run upstairs and like, let you guys know, call the cops. That's actually know, so um, funny. Yeah. And so like, no, Clarence is a hard character to play. Um, And on top of that too, like, 
it does kind of fuck with my throat playing him yep. a little bit, which which is normal doing like voices, even playing Chris too. Like it fucks with my voice a lot. But um, yeah. that's why like see this is this is the interesting thing. Um, clan- so uh, with with my close friends like with RP, uh, when I first made Clarence, like I'll tell you the background of how Clarence started. I'll I'll make sure it's short. No, you're so, fine. Yeah, go ahead. How, how Clarence? So Clarence is in in spot. It's inspiration of this one character named uh bubbles from trailer park boys and from another character from trailer park boys and also since um uh the term that you're familiar that you would be familiar with you know native americans right mm-hmm. so uh in canada I'm, I'm from canada i can say that i don't mind uh i'm i'm first nation which is you know kind of like native right okay. and <laughs> i've met like drunk natives who were like clarence Oh really? Yeah, and so Clarence is inspired by that from like shit that I've seen from my childhood and like from people I've actually met, and he's inspired from like two other characters from a show called Trailer Park Boys. I don't know if you ever heard of uh, heard of it. I've heard of it. But, uh, I haven't really watched it much. A lot of people like reference it and stuff, yeah. but I haven't, and yeah, so, I haven't watched it much. Yeah, and how I started Clarence Lewis like originally though. So this is the one thing I've known I've noticed about uh, like good role players. I know, you know, a portion of them will go in a server and get banned in a server just to like let out their VDM urge, <laughs> like and shit, like and just just to like troll sometimes, right? I must and not be so, good. I've never been banned, bro. Oh really? Wait, I might really? be banned from PMA now because I talk so much trash. But like, <laughs> uh, I, I I've never been banned from a server just for like something I did, yeah. Or like so, uh, honestly, I don't remember if I've ever been reported either. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. I've been reported a lot, not because I did <laughs> fucked up shit, but you know, because of you know childish people, right? And yeah, servers yeah. were you know, but um, so my really close RP group, I would like talk to a lot. We would sometimes we just like let's go on a ser- let's just go find a public server and just you know go meet some people and fuck around. And we I forgot what the server was called, but uh, the when you would create a character in it, it would give you a name that was auto generated. And the name that it gave me was Clarence Lewis. Oh, that's so like, so cool. That's so yeah. Funny. And so I, I, like when I saw, I was like Clarence Lewis, and I started laughing. I'm just like like that's like a perfect that's a perfect name for an RP character. Oh my god, and it's then, so good. Yeah, and then that's when like that's how Clarence Lewis started. Was like when me and my buddies were you know fucking around on a public server. And that's, then that's kind of crazy. Then, yeah, and then when we would go on our main server, we would play in which was very small that's when I started playing like it was really like like how Clarence Lewis evolved he evolved in like stages like the voice was like a lot more rough sounding and like sounded more cursed and it just like evolved into what Clarence is now so that's yeah. how Clarence started that's something I wonder uh so you you seem to have like a lot of backstory on these characters you know do you prepare that beforehand or do you um, uh do you like kind of let some of that build as you're going and like kind of you start to think of it as you're going. It's kind of like something I start thinking about as I go. I do the same thing. I do the same yeah. thing. Yeah. It, it's, it's a lot easier to like, just like let it build up instead of just like writing down a bunch of shit. Cause it's like, it's like hard to follow. There's nothing. Off when you're well, for me, there's nothing weirder. And I feel like anytime like our peers can avoid a scripted situation. It's the best yeah. thing that they can do. Cause like anytime yeah. that you have a scripted situation and that includes to me, the whole idea of like, um, this background story you're trying to bring into the server. Um, the only time I did that was with Nick Ender where I had a background story, but the reason I did that was to have high stakes for doing heists. Yeah. Um, but the, just like a background story where you have to tell people all the time, like, Oh yeah, so back uh, four years ago, I did this and this, and you know, and it's just like too much, you know. Yeah, it, get, it gets ugh, it, it gets it, like it gets boring and like unbearable to do all the time. Yeah, That's and so I, I'd rather it be like, okay, I've seen how you act in the server, and then like you do with Clarence, where you tell me like, this is why yeah, that, that the, happens. Yeah, you know? the, this is this is why like, yeah, like this like this is why I talk like this. Like when I was telling you as Clarence, and like this is why like you know why I have no friends is like, like as Clarence yeah. saying, like he has no friends like reason reasons why. Right. I, I like when shit builds up dude. like slow burns, like really important. What do you think? So do you think slow burn? Cause a lot of people think slow burn is like, Oh, it needs to take X amount of time. Right. Um, 
what how do you define like slow burn rp um the way i think of slow burn rp is that i don't think it needs like there's a certain x amount of time for a slow burn to really happen i think like what slow burn rp to me is something that like something that can build up easily but very like like in a long period of time and right? not, not something that's like oh you'll have like an interaction with someone then like you wait like a week to talk to them again yeah no, like I, yeah like I, I want like like as clients like when when clients are trying to sell you guys shit right it would like always go wrong for him but you know slowly throughout time clients kept on doing it like trying to do deals with you guys right and like regardless like it's such a hard question to a- answer actually like what slow burn rp is because some people just associate that with like oh like the storyline needs to be dragged on but it's yep, like exactly like, no yeah. not really it's just like even if you're following the storyline or not right it's just like just go with the flow like just just like you know hang out and see what happens right like uh, yeah i always define it as like it's not an allotted amount of time it's more a um like everything is in 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 order before yeah. the ending you know yeah. like so you've you've taken the time to put in the right pieces to build up to the ending you know and i think yeah. there's times where that happens well it rarely happens well yeah. um but i remember early on people were telling me it needs to be slow burn over like a, a few weeks and i'm like but everything's ready now like everything's everything's yeah. everything has been rp'd out everything is ready to go and they're like you need to wait a few weeks before you can do that and it'd be like server yeah. admins i won't say which server probably no but um they would try to tell me that kind of stuff and i'm like one get out of my ear i'm not really i don't really care what yeah. you say but two like uh that's not what slow burn rp is. like it's not this like oh hey it takes you two weeks to build this up then a week to do it it's like i think what's really cool is like with our storylines together it was always like everything fell into place and then we made we yeah. made the big moments happen you know um, and I think that's something you do really well on any character. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited though, dude. I'm excited to see what you do with Chris McDonald and all that kind of stuff. But what's your goal? Like, what's your goal with like content? Are you gonna continue YouTube? Are you gonna start streaming? Uh, what do you want to do? So with the streaming thing, I want to stream as much as I don't want to. Yeah, and the reason why, uh, the, the biggest reason why is because I want to get a better computer. I have a good graphics card. It's just my CPU is like maybe five years ago it was good, but now yeah, it's yeah. like not good anymore, right? You know, like oh, I that's why I hate PC parts. Like when two years go by, the shit that you got now is shit. Yeah, because they, so many new things come out. But um, the CPU I have isn't that good. Like it's hard to multitask. So, and on top of that too, like. I'm going to be honest, dude. I don't know how you stay so sane with chat, but chat would make me lose my mind. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. What do you mean by uh, that? Because uh, the meddling and, like, you know, when people, you know, you know how chatters are sometimes, right? You know how when they talk about some our peers, like, for example, like the Vagos, you know, like some of the shit that was going on, like, like, I just don't like when, like, people talk shit about role players when something bad happens. Like, yeah, like, it was cursed, like, some things that happen if it's low quality or not, but I mean, you know, but to them, they think they're RPing, right? So it's yeah. just, I don't know. It's just like chat I would think, just make me lose my mind. Yeah, I think with the particular situation I got going on right now with the Vagos, it's they, I think that people see the time waste that happens, you know what I mean? And um, it's a, it's a hard problem, right? Because you have, yeah. and I, I, right now I'm in this moment, right? And just full transparency, anybody listening who watches me live or whatever, I'm in this moment where I'm trying to train my audience a little bit, which sounds bad. Like, I don't mean to make people sound like, you know, training like an animal or something, but like, but no, like you have to train your audience as a a streamer to to like, what is the right things to do? Like how, how can like, it's such a weird world we live in. And it's like, it's such a weird thing that I'm streaming. But I, I mean, the big thing recently I've like really had to deal with is like, stop telling me what to do. Like, oh yeah, that that would make like, me go nuts. I just go like, "Hey guys, like I I can't keep looking over at my chat and seeing people say say do this, do this, do this." Realistically speaking, the reason why you guys watch me is because I'm going to make the decision that I'm going to make. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's not because yeah. I read chat and just did whatever decision you guys said. 
Uh, but amongst that, like if you have like five different people saying that at the same time, it's kind of hard. You know, I want to have interaction yeah. with my chat, but I also it's kind of hard to do like consistently like high quality RP and then look over and like have like six different options that you're already going through in your mind, you know, and that kind of stuff. And so I, I don't know. I, I think it's uh, it is hard like sometimes, but I think as long as you start to draw your lines with a live stream. Yeah. And you just, you know, it's kind of like setting boundaries with people in real life. Like, hey, this yeah. is, this is, and that, that's a better way to say it than training because it's a bit, kind of people might take that <laughs> the wrong way, but like the, it's setting boundaries of just like, hey yeah. guys, like this is what I want. I, I want to experience this every day with you guys, but this is kind of going to be the boundary that I, I set. And if you guys go past that, then, you know, you'll be timed out or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, and metagaming is kind of something you sign up for when you stream, right? Like if you stream, yeah, it, it's gonna happen no, no matter what. It's gonna happen, especially I guess if you another... play like a character that's like people care to lose to. Um, oh yeah. Then yeah, they're gonna metagame your stuff. They're gonna they're gonna watch it. Oh, they're gonna dude, do whatever. Oh, it, and it's not every I, situation oh, that's that way, yeah. but like I mean, that's just the reality of it, you know. Yeah, um, it, it, you and it's something that we sign up for as streamers. Um, and so that's kind of the hard thing. If you don't want to experience that, then it's kind of like, yeah, you don't really sign up for it. Yeah. But, um, also the, the server rush hour is pretty good about trying to like, see if people are doing that and stuff like that. Yeah. No, I, but I, I, I trust rush hours like team and everything a lot. There's another reason too, is like, it's hard for me to get more immersed if I'm streaming. Cause you know, I got to yep. look at chat that people are like, you know, trying to chat with me and shit. Cause I like, cause I talk a lot in my, cause when I, cause I used to stream before, right. But not like RP. I would just like stream random games, but you know, I, I would have a harder time getting immersed. And if something really cringe happened, like something cursing like the Vago shit, I don't know. I would like, I wouldn't be angry cause I don't really get mad in RP, but I would probably throw a lot of sarcastic remarks, like how you do sometimes with PMA. That I just don't want people to think like, like, oh, like I hate them and shit. Right? It's just yeah. I don't know. It's just something you can't avoid. It's, it's a hard stuff. line, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's a hard line. I think, uh, like, like I said, with this Vago stuff that's going on right now, the only reason I'm saying something is because uh, my time and a lot of times people are being wasted by some of the decisions that are being made. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and it's that, been like for days now. Like it's, yeah, it's like, it's like week plus, you know what I mean? Of nothing, you know? And so it, it's kind of like, and that to me is more like, okay, let's just disengage from this RP situation. Obviously we disagree on what is the right way to go about this. Yeah. And, but at the end of the day, bro, I mean, if we all met in person, we'd probably just be like, bro, we had that moment, but fuck it. I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's a video yeah, game no, at the end yeah, of the day, bro. Yeah. You know, like, um, but people in chat, the thing that a great streamer does is gets their people, um, enthralled with the storylines for RP. Yeah. What that all, the negative side of that is that people get enthralled with the storylines of RP and they get, uh, to this point where, um, they very much care about it. The same as if their TV show doesn't go right. Yeah. Uh, and if we're doing, if that happens, uh, the RPers that I'm interacting with, it, whether I think they're good or not, are doing their job and I'm doing my job and that kind of stuff. But it is also my job personally to mitigate it and make sure people like, you know, yeah. they kind of stay in a good spot with it. Yeah. And so hey, sometimes man, I do good at that, sometimes I don't. But. That's the thing with RP now, dude. Like, it's a business now, bro. It's entertainment now. It's like, it's it crazy, but it's just how it is now. It's really interesting. But uh, to continue off on what we're talking about, um. I pro like once I get a better computer and I get things more situated with the YouTube, I might go with the YouTube route first, you know, just to have like you also use as an RP portfolio if I ever wanted to join like, you know, no pixel or something, you know what I mean? Like Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the YouTube first. Actually, I do got a lot of things that I do want to do with the YouTube and <laughs> Uh, if, if let, let's say like let, let's say it does do well, you know, gets traction, people actually watch it, then you know maybe I'll start streaming. But the one thing I would want to do is like I don't know, um, have like kind of content that I can upload to something somewhere else that's more locked. As in like, oh, uh, you may not agree with it, but like sometimes like you know trolling in RP servers is really fun. Like and not like toxic trolling, you know what I mean? But like yeah. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, it, I don't know. Like, it's good content. I've, I've had friends who, who used to do it, you know? Um, yeah. 
like I like with what I'm saying with the community stuff where, you know, you start to like draw your boundaries. I have noticed that it attracts a certain type of person, that type of content. And that's the only yeah. reason that I wouldn't do it. Uh, it's because yeah. it's probably like a type of person I wouldn't really want to be around personally. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, yeah, that, no, that's um, what I mean. Like, I, but I wanna, it's good content. It is, yeah. I mean, if you do it, wanna, that's a, you'll do it tastefully. You know, which yeah, will be, yeah. Like, I want to upload really good RP stuff, but I want people to see like the curse side of RP too. Though, that's good. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, that's a good move. I want to show people really good immersive RP. I want to show them shitlord RP. And then like the curse side of RP, right? Because like, yeah, like, like five M as a whole, there's an iceberg to it, bro. Like, there's there's servers where they're just like, there's a hundred K or die servers. And then yeah. there's like the public servers, like you know PMA, where like everyone's doing Second Life and yeah, ego yeah. bullshit. You know what I mean? Then there's actually servers where there's actually a lot of RP in it or scripted RP and stuff like that, right? I want to I want to explore all that. There's the wanna, yeah, the money grab servers, there's the Yeah, there, there's the money grab servers and there's like the um there there's a lot, dude. Like I don't even want to get into it. There's some really cursed servers out there. <laughs> there's probably some ERP servers you could find. Probably. <laughs> yeah, like I I want <laughs> I, I just want to I want to show crazy. everyone I want to show everyone all of that. You know what I mean? Like, Do it. I think that. Yeah, I think. See that how you're going about that is different than like trolling. Trolling, you know? Yeah. No. That like. I, I think it's funny to just you just let them go, bro, and they, they'll they'll do the content almost for you in a way. You know? Yeah. Like they'll, like like, yeah. like there's so like there, there's what I want to do like show all the kinds of RP, good RP, you know, shitlord RP, whatever, right? And then there's like people you probably know who this guy is. You know who Stacks Wapo is? Oh, uh, I think I've heard of him. Maybe. Uh, I think so. Yeah. When, oh, yeah, yeah. Born, he was big, like a couple. He was like, doing he was that really. really big he, for a bit, right? he was doing like that really cursed, like RP yeah, really shit, intense. Like, yeah, yeah. Really, so like, really, yeah, yeah. like really, like a like, super TOS. Like I would never. Yeah, do that yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. But um, yeah, like um, I'm trying to. I'm looking on YouTube. There's actually this other like GTRP here. Like it's funny because he actually role plays. But he uses uh like he'll troll people like some he, he made a video where he was playing a fat ped, but like he, he had a mod menu where you can you can spawn in props and so he was like trolling people like you know shitting on the floor in restaurants and stuff like he was actually role playing it and like people are RPing with him too and like that's the shit I want to do too though right yeah, like, yeah. I, I want to do that shit because like because it, cause it's not toxic you know everyone can have fun with it well I think yeah. Like, it's kind of like one of those things with like prank videos too, where like the stupid prank videos are the ones where like, it's like really mean, you know what I mean? It yeah, has to like be this like middle ground. Yeah. That's all I always like, say with that kind of stuff. Like it has uh, to have like a good ending in a way, you know? Yeah. Not like, yeah. not like a heartfelt, but like just like a, but, it can't be this, too dark. Uh, yeah, no, nothing like that. Um, no, <laughs> cause that's when it's like, you know, fucked up. At that yeah, point. yeah. Yeah. I don't want to do that. No, th this YouTuber that does this stuff, uh, his name is Maximil Gaming. I don't know if okay. you've ever seen his stuff before, but whenever you're bored, you should look him up. He'll like do some really funny stuff. <laughs> like yeah. some will be like some. He'll go on like really cursed servers, and like you can tell like he's like he's trying to RP and shit, and everyone's just like playing as themselves. Bro. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but um, right now, uh -huh. but other than that, like I'm only gonna explore those things for my YouTube once like I actually have a lot of content, like maybe up to like a hundred videos first. Probably. Okay. Yeah. And, so, uh, yeah. being like a, like you're saying, um, you used to edit for like Saikuno and stuff like that. You kind of know a little bit of, uh, the game a little bit, huh? In terms of posting and shit. Or is it? Mainly... Oh yeah. It, it's so this, this is the one thing that pisses me off a lot, especially since video editing and like, you know, YouTube, like how much shorts has evolved, like how, like how it's just like how crazy, how crazy it is nowadays. Cause everyone tries to mid max content, right? Yep. You know, like, oh, we need the highest retention rate, all this other shit, right? And so, like, throughout time, I've experienced all those shifts of how content evolved into, right? Because I remember when I was first editing, you know, content wasn't super ADHD editing style, right? It was, like, you know, very yeah. normal, very normal editing. And then, like, when Among Us came out, they're like, that's when, oh, my God. When, like, Among, blah, 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 Us, blah, yeah, when <laughs> yeah. Among Us came out, like, then... <laughs> Editing started like changing how content was like coming out, and then like since Mr. Beast like started doing this shit, everyone's trying to copy. Mr. Yeah, everyone's Beast. doing Mr. Beast now. Yeah, and now like 
um all the titles and stuff even thumbnails too like it's just it's a weird gamble dude it's like i don't know youtube's just weird nowadays with like I don't know. It's just a huge. It's a weird gamble, but if you know how to play the game right, you can, you can mid max and get the views you need, right? Because when I was uploading shorts, this is before I was even in rush hour. Like, well, I think I was in rush hour, but I was in like other servers. Um, like learning how to use hashtags and shit and shorts is like pretty simple. It's like basic knowledge. But the thing that pisses me off the most is like, uh, I I have to use Twitter a lot, right? Because it's the only way I can outsource to other clients and shit most of the time. Yeah, and you know I follow a bunch of other editors, channel managers, and shit, and like I don't know, like there's just so many people trying to mid max the game, dude. Where like now people are getting editors are getting underpaid and shit, and you know, mm. et cetera, et cetera. Like it's just I don't know, like yeah, it's a, I it's do know weird, the game a lot, but yeah, it's uh, it's a weird world to be in, you know. Um, it's never ending. It like it, it just is like, uh, especially from my point of view, it's you can never post enough. And you can never, and it's kind of hard to get started at times or, or whatever. But yeah. I, I think your channel is great, man. If, if anybody listening doesn't know um, what the channel is, it's Obese Gang RP. I'll also have the link in the description um, down below. So if you guys want to uh, check out his like GTA stuff, um, it's very good. And yeah, um, I put I'm a not lot just of saying that because I'm in some of the videos, but uh, it is very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Um... It's just, so, yeah, it's just, it's so you're going to focus like, like YouTube then. Yeah. I mean, YouTube yeah, I'm going to focus on YouTube first. And then if it eventually evolves to the point where it's like, Oh yeah, I get an audience and people want to see me stream, then I'll stream. But you know, you cook know, up some it, TikToks or no? Um, I tried and I don't know. Like the reason why I don't want to use TikTok, there's a lot of reasons why actually. Um, so with TikTok, like I probably wouldn't stream on TikTok or upload on there because, you know, a, a huge, huge age group that uses TikTok is very young. And I want a mature audience, which I know everyone wants a mature audience if they're like, you know, they're an adult streaming, right? Uh, I just don't want a younger audience. I want a mature audience. You know what I mean? But another thing is too, like, you're probably going to... yeah. I, I've, dude, I've, most of the people I find on TikTok now, like, I start hitting, like, for you page, and it's, like, probably 20, 25 plus. Really? I mean, yeah. maybe TikTok probably has, has done a lot better. It's but, gotten better, um, for sure, yeah. But, I mean, you, you do know, like, TikTok, you know, steals your data, right? That's yeah. why I don't use it. I know it's a face palm to hear me say that, but I don't know. I just think, I also think TikTok is kind of sketchy. Like, the whole premise behind oh, I TikTok. Don't, no, 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 don't get me wrong. I don't like TikTok. Like, yeah, I don't for a long time. I didn't want to use it. I don't think it's good for people. I don't think it's good for the whole scroll. But that's that boom, boom, bop, you know, idea yeah, of life. That's, that, but, that's how I feel about it. And I think it's bad for people. I think overall it's going to yeah. be it's going to fuck people up. I'm going to be real. Um, but if I can get people um, to experience my live stream in a greater facet and then maybe they actually even move away from TikTok and you know watch like, long like, form like, content like wean, wean them off like wean them off TikTok. yeah i, I think uh, that, that's actually the, smart yeah the funnel for me goes like this right it goes TikTok, um into my twitch and then outside of twitch to my youtube so right yeah, now we're, we're using youtube yeah. as a landing page versus using it as like a uh funnel um yeah, that, and that's, that's why i'm doing like podcasts it. like this that's why i'm gonna yeah. do like videos that aren't like heavily heavily edited and they're gonna be more like but more of them so that yeah. people can like leave my stream and then they go and watch, you know, a bunch of my YouTube videos or, or whatever uh, versus it being like, dude, like, I don't know. Cause it's like TikTok is just, uh, yeah, it's bad. It's not, it's not a good thing, but that's why we post yeah. longer TikToks. Um, and then I also post, uh, and then I also just go live on there because it's the yeah. first time forever I've been discoverable on, as a live streamer doing that. You know, that's the one, that's the one thing I'm in about TikTok. Like it's, it's a good way to get your name out there. If you, know how if you like if you know what content is gonna like bring in views if you know what kind of editing styles like you know preferred by most people like if you know what you're doing then you can get figured out you can get found out on tiktok like i think the biggest thing for me that i found is every platform is about telling a story yeah that's and if you can tell yeah. a good story um through your editing and through all that kind of shit i think those have always been my best videos on any platform yeah. and so um but dude, we're at we're kind of like we're at like an hour 32 right now um sure, but yeah. dude I think this was an absolute blast, man. Um, oh yeah, I this was good. It. This was. Is awesome. there 
is there anything else before we go that you want to kind of like bring up or talk about um, before we go? Or you had any, any like, you wanted to get my reaction on something or whatever? Uh, I'm just going to let you know, uh, a lot of things are going to, a lot of things are going to change. Like as, as Chris, I got a lot of plans, dude, that I want to, I want to make a shift in like rush hour on how like people like do things. Like when I bring in Chris more, more serious Another yeah. thing is too, Clarence isn't dead. He's going to come back maybe not anytime soon. I'm not going to give you an exact date. But he's gonna come back, and there's gonna be a lot. Like you're, you, you're even. I'm gonna surprise myself on what I'm doing. I got a lot planned. It's gonna, it's gonna be huge, dude. It's not gonna be small. It's like it's just, there's gonna be a lot of work behind it. Well, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, you know, lean into it and all that kind of shit. So it'll be good. Oh no, uh, you're gonna be shocked. Of, like <laughs> uh, I'm being serious, dude. Like I'm already getting giddy, like thinking about what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, my chatterbox dude, make sure you guys go check out, uh, his YouTube in the, in the description, obese gang RP or the link in the description. Um, and then you got a Twitch. Yeah. Do you want them to follow your Twitch as well or no? Um, I'm not really using my Twitch. Um, actually, uh, I actually changed the name of my Twitch account because oh. I'm trying to separate it from my editing shit. Cause if it does, you know, evolve to the point where I have like, you know, a lot of people watch my YouTube like and a lot of people can be like 500 people doesn't doesn't have to be like 10,000 but yeah yeah um i'm trying to separate it because you know like i said like i get i get a lot of work dms on my main account so like i'm just trying to separate it so i don't get like people going like oh can you edit this for me cuz i've had people go on my stream before when i would have my you know lsd rhapsody thing and people will just like show me stuff that they worked on which which is fine which i don't care but I, I recently changed my Twitch name. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is because you never say the full name of it, which gets me pissed off. Cause just Wait, I don't? No, you, I'm not going to tell you what it is, dude, because you're not going <laughs> yeah, to... Want, want, me, want me to tell you what my... Uh, wait, wait, Twitch I mess name. it I mess it up? Is what you're saying? No, like, no, I... you you never say the full name. You Out, out, of, out of everyone that you RP with, because a lot of them stream, they say the full name, but you don't say it. I'm so bad with this shit. Okay, yeah, go ahead. You want me to tell you what it is? You've seen yeah. me in chat a lot. It's a, it's a, it's bum juice ca. Oh uh, yeah, there's a reason I don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why. That's, that's why I thought it was funny when I was like, I was thinking about that today. I'm just like, it's like Nick never ever says my full Twitch name because he doesn't know it's me. You know, he never says. Now I'm gonna juice. say it. Now I'm gonna be like, no. hey, bum juice. You know, uh, well, because. <laughs> You know, I just uh, I always think about the one clip that someone has, like, or like they they click into my stream for the first time, and they hear me say "bum juice" or like something else. Someone says, "They're like, well, what the fuck? What is this guy um, saying?" The, the, the reason why I changed it to to that is because I literally did not know what else to come up with. It's actually it's like, not even bad. It's not even. Bad. It's, it's not even a bad. It's just really funny. And like, what do I say? Of, do I say like "juice" or like "bum"? Or no, you, you just say "bum." You just call. You just like you're like, oh, yeah, that's funny, bum. I'm just like, he never says "bum juice," dude. Yeah, and I have no idea. It's you. That's funny. <laughs> No, I, I just all my friends the... do that to me, bro. They'll they'll be like, they'll do that kind of stuff. They'll like just sneak their username yeah. to like something different. <laughs> they like, yeah. Uh, reason why I went with that name because I literally didn't know what else to think of. So I, was just I like, think it's well, good. It, uh, do you want, want people to follow that, or do you? Is that we're gonna like if you ever did stream, you would stream there or no? Um, uh, not right now. All right, no worries. Cool. Don't yeah. follow it. Definitely don't, don't follow that account. Don't don't um, don't follow it because I I haven't streamed on it, and I think uh. If I think like a, a week ago i saw like seven people from your stream follow it and i'm just like they probably shouldn't have followed it <laughs> <laughs> well um dude i appreciate it man uh i think man, i've had an awesome. absolute blast uh the whole clarence storyline uh i appreciate you uh giving so much um no problem, allowing dude. us to have a good time and just i don't know just yeah what you bring to the table on any character is just great dude so hey guys thank you so much for making it to the end of this video there's another one right here or like maybe right here or something like that uh also if you have not subscribed to this channel yet make sure you smash that subscribe button if this is your first time ever seeing me i'm also live on twitch monday through friday at 10 a.m pacific time i might be live right now you never know all right see you in the next video Bye.